All right, welcome back to LearnWire. Today we're gonna to be looking at Agility Rider and one of the main features that they've come out with recently. And now I know this, this has been out for a few weeks. I just haven't had a chance to do a video on it, but we're gonna be looking at the optimize mode. And I think that when Surfer AI came out about a month ago, maybe it was three weeks to four weeks ago, it really pushed the boundaries of what you can do with one-click writers. And it did challenge and kind of speed up the process for other article writers like Agility Writer to also offer something similar. And I just think that they blow it out of the park, you know, with what they're able to do. And you're going to be able to get these fully optimized, better content with a tool like Agility for a much lower cost than somewhere like Server AI. And unfortunately, Server AI really just kind of came out and put uh, put placed themselves as the highest priced, from what I can see, the highest priced AI writer. So then it seems like we can now all compare all these other tools. And if they are as good or better at writing, then why would we pay $29 for one article with Surfer AI, right? And so Agility has built this new tool, the optimized mode, which is going to give us some really high quality, optimized, fully optimized articles. We're going to go test them out in Neuron Writer, see what the score is as well. We're going to do a little bit of keyword research, show you where I got this keyword and so forth. So so this is the optimized mode. Right now, in order to save time, I already have the article writing, but I will go in and show you how we got to this point where we got to this keyword right here. So we came back over here and I use all kinds of different keyword research tools. You guys know I have a ton of lifetime deal keyword research tools. I pay monthly for SE ranking and I've been, I have been having fun with Beyond Me. I'm not currently an affiliate with them. They did leave AppSumo earlier, so I apologize ahead of time if you're watching me use this tool and you're like, wow, I wanna get my hands on that. Where's the LTD? unfortunately, and I did reach out to them more than 24 hours ago and they have not gotten back to me as far as trying to secure some type of special offer for you guys. If that does happen, of course, you will be the first to find out and I will do a video, but they have not gotten back to me. So I don't know if they're willing to do that. I don't really know what happened with Beyond Me, to be honest. I did reach out to my AppSumo rep. I did answer, get that answer as quick as I could. And they did say that they really, because this has happened with other tools and AppSumo was honest with me. They did say that there was a falling out or that they violated the terms of service because there, when you go and launch an app on AppSumo, there is a terms of service and an agreement. There is exclusivity for the vendor. You can't go on other marketplaces similar to that. There's, there's price locks and there's different things that you work out in a contract like that, right? That's pretty normal. And when a vendor breaches that contract, then AppSumo can, you know, basically take their offer off of AppSumo and so forth like that. But that's not what happened here. So far, AppSumo has not you know, not been honest with me about when I asked them. And so really what they said beyond me just ended their, their offer on AppSumo and, and they moved on. Right. And so maybe to me, that tells me that they got the, they definitely hit the amount of LTDs that they wanted to hit with AppSumo and as much or more than they're comfortable with going forward, because these types of tools do take, you know, server and bandwidth, and they're going to take resources on a monthly basis. So you do have to be careful when you're getting hundreds of sales for this LTD. And you, if you're a smart business owner, you know, looking months down the road, you have to be aware of like, how are you going to pay the bills when you have no monthly revenue coming in, right? So those are all not to get too much into that, but it looks like they just ended their offer and moved on. So nothing really major happened. It's just that they kind of left suddenly. So I didn't see that they had a timer or anything like that. So maybe they did just pull their offer. Maybe there wasn't an actual like three days left type, you know, where you get those warnings and so forth. But anyway, I'm going to be using Beyond Me. Let's get on with the reason for the video, which is to take a look at agility and their new optimized feature. So I went ahead and did some keyword research over here. I went to the keyword lab and I typed in something like best software. And then I also put in my filters over here. I put six minimum keywords. I put 20 right here on the minimum. And then I analyzed some keywords and we got some weak spots, right? And here's one that has major weak spots, including social media on most of the top 10. So nine of the top 10 have social media. And then one of them has a low DA of three. So we should have a chance. And this is the difference between using Beyond Me versus other keyword tools. Where did I go where I even went into like Surge Graph and if I go into Surge Graph and go to keyword research, and then I go click on, I also went and checked this keyword out in Surge Graph just for fun. And, and it gives it a 60 
a very high difficulty keyword to rank. And that is where you're going to probably get a more high difficulty when you look at the sites that are ranking. The domain authority is pretty high on most of these. Um, but the tool over here, for some reason, is labeling like click up and some of these sites as more of a social media type. And that's where this blue icon's coming from. So I'm not really sure on these, but we do, I really do like to see green because this just means straight up the domain authority, domain authority, the DA, it is a Moz metric. It is an old SEO metric, but I like to use it because I'm a little bit more on the old school side, but it's a three, so it's very weak. So we should be able to at least break in uh, to the top 10 if we write a nice comprehensive uh, article. So that's kind of, I would say I would take the blue with a grain of salt is labeling some of these as social media. But if it's not, you know, Facebook and LinkedIn and things like that, then some of these are just basically they are social, they are other SaaS softwares like ClickUp right here. They're going to make this list. They're going to obviously put themselves probably as number one and so forth, right? So we'll come over here. And let's just see if this weak spot, if we can actually break in. So that's where I got this. I copied this keyword and then I went over to agility and then I went over to the optimized mode right here. And this is their new right here, manage optimized articles. This is going to take four to five credits. So it is very expensive when it comes to, I mean, in comparison to surfer AI, it's not, but we're talking, this is going to cost anywhere probably between three and $5 per article by the time you're said and done with it, right? Excellent SEO optimized articles with the right headings, rich format, list and table, keywords and word counts, up to 5,000 from the top search results. And it's gonna go and it is gonna go and do some heavy research on the on the top 10 ranking articles and build its content based on those and just make it better. It's gonna add it automatically add in LSI keywords or NLP keywords and do all the optimization optimization for us. The status is it's in progress right now, but what we would do is we would just go over here to new optimized article. And what I did was I literally just went over here and I pasted in that keyword, but not just that keyword. I actually put in the keyword right here because I want it to, you know, I want it to go 17 best. I want it to, to find 17 of the softwares. And that's why I feel like I have to put that in in order for it to find the right tools and softwares to actually review, right? And then what you're gonna do is that once you put that in there, you're gonna say create article for four credits. And what it's going to do is it's going to, we're gonna come back and look at this one in a minute. So let's go and grab another keyword for fun so I can actually push this button and we'll go build at our second article with it. So I'm gonna come back over to Beyond Me. Let's go find another one. Best software to download text messages from iPhone. Do, do, do. Cheapest way to get Microsoft Office. I want to go with a low domain right here. I don't know what this word is, so I'm going to go ahead and just kind of move on to something else. Best laptop for Adobe Creative Cloud. That one might be kind of interesting. And then when we come over here, five best laptops for Adobe Creative Cloud. So we will just do something similar. Let's go with six or seven. I'm going to go with seven. And this is what I like to do. I love just pulling up that tool, looking at what the and, I, and it keeps me on their site. And that's what I like. Instead of having to go to Google and so forth, I've got the dom domain, domain authority. And then I've got my weak spot and I've got my keyword and description and so forth. But then you can also scope and see what types of articles in general, at least half of the articles are listicles. So we're going to go ahead and go with seven. So I'm going to go ahead and that's kind of how I use that tool. So let's see right over here. Best, what is it? And obviously when you click on this and the higher up weak spot, that's even better for us, right? So best laptop for Adobe. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the star button too so we don't lose that keyword. And then I'm gonna go back over and I'm going to highlight the keyword. And I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. We're gonna go back over to agility real quick. And we will just go ahead and throw this one in real quick right here. And I'm gonna go seven best laptop I'm going to go say laptops for Adobe cloud, creative cloud, and then we're going to go a create article and then it's going to go and create our article. We'll be right back. So what it's doing right now is that it's actually going out to the SERPs and analyzing the top 10 pages and coming up with a, with outlines. So it actually came up with three outlines for us. 
and then we can come over here and we can select all these right here. It's telling us what our target word count is going to be, what the estimated, if we went with this one over here, and it does have a limit of about 47 headlines in here. So when you start getting into that 15 plus listicles, roundup posts, you may push it to its max to where it will, you'll end up having to remove some stuff from the outline. This is where it's going to come over here and add the ones that, you know, it has some type of algorithm. And you know that these guys really have some, some pretty pillar type content, some really good high quality. So this is going to be pretty hard to outrank as far as the score. I mean, they have some really good SEO and some really good scores going on to rank this page, but let's just see what we can do, right? So if you made any changes right here, so if I took that one off and went to this one, right? And let's just add that one. Then you're going to save and create outline right here, save selected websites right here. And then you can also save and create outline and it's going to go ahead and kind of refresh all this right here, but you don't have to push this button save and create. I don't believe because it already has outlines built for us, but I believe by pushing save and create outline it's going to go ahead and use your updated sites. So it kind of doesn't make any sense that you would, if you update the sites over here and push the save, you're probably going to have to refresh search result or push save and create outline. One just critique is that there are a lot of big blue buttons going on right here. And you know, I haven't watched a, a video tutorial, so I would learn obviously, but I'm coming at this and this is the way I like to bring a lot of my videos is just from common sense and what is logical. We're using the tool. And for me, there's just a few too many buttons right here that kind of are telling me to push them, kind of telling me that it does make sense to push all of those buttons. And I'm really not sure exactly what it's doing, but I do know that by doing the save and create outline, it seems like it recreates all these outlines that it already created for us. So you can go and I recommend obviously leave it on advanced because we are doing an advanced mode type article, but you have these different outlines right here that it's going to change. So I recommend going and actually looking at those and just making sure. So like we, we need the seven best, right? So I'm going to go and look, we have how to choose the best laptops. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it did give us seven. That's going to give us some frequently asked questions and about the laptops for the creative cloud. So the outlines and the way that agility writer handles listicle posts in real time is just, it's genius level. There's a lot of AI writers. I can tell you right now that can't even do what we're looking at right here. It went out there and it literally is smart and intelligent enough to find seven for us. And then it adds in all these features and description, pros and cons, pros and cons on all of them. It just really, really does everything for us. And that is why you're paying for, this is kind of the Rolls Royce agility writer of these AI content writers. That's why it is a little bit on the pricier side. And to me, it's worth it because it's just making everything so much easier for us. Okay. So you can add the FAQs title and description right over here if you wanted to. I've been leaving that not checked and it's default not checked. So I've just been, I'm just leaving it unchecked, but I do want optimized words. I do want add styling. It's going to add bolding to the content. And then if you want mid journey prompts right here, image prompts, I'm going to go ahead and click this one for this one. I didn't do it on the last one. Authority links, it's going to add up to five external links naturally throughout your article, which is super awesome. And then now they have something really cool in here, which is the internal custom links right over here. And so you can actually tick this box right over here and we can add in some URLs over here. And I'm going to go over to one of my sites and see if I can find anything that has to do with Adobe. <laughs> Let's see right over here. I copy the link address and I'm going to throw that in right there. I'm going to go ahead and grab, here's a software right here. So I'm just going to show you, and I'm using this part internal links for the very first time. And we're going to go copy one more right here. So let's add some of these links in here and let's go. I'm going to go and find another one laptop. I'm on my other screen, but we're going to go and just grab a couple copy link address. I want to add five links in here. Zoom recording software, best software re for review sites. Let's see right here. Copy. 
and we've got one more. Okay, so we added those internal links in as well. We've got all this, we selected what we want there, and then you're just gonna say add to writing queue right here. But if you made any adjustments over here, then you would want to create, push the create outline button, I believe. But we're gonna go ahead and add to writing queue. And now it's writing. We still have that other one that it's been going on for, I don't know, a good 20 minutes now. I do think that it's going to take some time for this to get finished. So I'm gonna have to pause the video and come back when this one is done over here. All right, so we're back and I don't know, that took about 30 minutes, but oh my goodness, we have a 5,900 word count. So that tells me that this really did need to be a power packed pillar post in order to compete with the top ranking pages. It finally completed so we can go and check this out. So here is the, here are the, or is the article that it created. If we can go check it out. So we have the introduction right over here. I don't know if I want you guys to have to look at it from this standpoint. We could go and paste it into a Word document or so forth, but I think this is actually pretty good because it's kind of zoomed in. So what do we have? Navigating tasks can feel like a juggling act without the right tools. In fact, research shows that disorganized work leads to less productivity. This blog will serve as your comprehensive guide to the 17 best task management software in 2023, all designed to streamline your workflow and supercharge your efficiency. Ready for the breakthrough? Let's dive in. I like that it's doing things like this because that is kind of what humans would do when they're right, right? It's not so boring. Some of these other AI writers, they're just really robotic and boring. And I think that there is something going on in the background with agility that just makes it a little bit better. We have our key takeaways section. I do want to do a quick kind of just scroll through. I'm not sure I like the... The bold, I mean, I like the bold, but I just don't know if it's too much. Leave a comment below if you made it this far in the video and if you're reading this part and if you think that the bold, if you would actually select that off. In some cases, I think I like it because it just, it's it helps the eyes have more things to look at as far as, you know, having different shades of text, regular standard, standard text, and then bold text, and then the nice blue headlines. And then you have your your tables and I like the color of the tables and so forth. So look at this. It's just adding in all these different tables right over here. Um, I do want to come up here because I did, I do think that I, I did type table in right here and this is when you can force it to write a table in a section. I like that as well. Obviously we need to remove that word table right there, but when we come in and start looking at this, this, uh, there's just no other writer on the planet, in my opinion, that can do quite what agility can do. So it is levels of, I mean, Koala is my second favorite right now, but agility really just is just outstanding with the capabilities of what it can do as far as the quality of output. So we're going to be, and I, and I'm subscribed to all of these tools. So I don't really have, I don't know if I could say I have a bias for any of the tools. I just want to publish the one that I think creates the higher quality outlines, the higher quality output and so forth. Right. And when you have all these tables, it's just more pleasing to the eye to look at the quality of the content is well researched and factual. It just doesn't get much better than this. So we have the review of the 17 best task management software for individuals. We finally got to the main part and that's actually, you know, at towards the, it still is towards the top when you really think about it. That is what we're really addressing, but we're addressing some stuff in the beginning and then boom, we hit right into this, the kind of introduction that again, um, right here in this review, we will explore. So right here in today's digital age, it kind of starts off a new article right here. I probably would get rid of that sentence right there. No AI writer is perfect. And right here, you could get away with leaving that if you would. This is probably going to still rank, but I probably would remove that. Once down now option is Hive, a comprehensive tool. And then we've got Hive right here. And it looks like if I hover over this and you go down here and look at the lower left-hand side of the screen, you'll see that it does say hive.com. So it's actually external linking to the appropriate website, which is just mind blowing that this is an AI writer. So that is the, the time. Because I mean, when I used to publish this content, I wouldn't even go and highlight Hive, go to Google, find the website, get the URL, come back, hyperlink that. 
agility is doing all that stuff in the, for you automatically, saving you a ton of time. And that is why it does cost more than Zimrider. That's why it costs more than other tools. Is doing all this automatically for us, which is super cool. We've got our key features of Hive. Everything is just on point. It's talking about Hive. We've got our Hive key features, multi, multiple project layouts, real-time task tracking, yada, 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 to-do list. We go right into that. And then we go to Meester right here, the dark, dark blue, or the well, I guess the, the highlighted blue. It also is highlighting to or external linking to to do ist as well. So super cool. So one thing I want to find out is if it did any, did it find any links? Oh, it's that other one. We're going to go back and I want to see if it linked the other article that we had written for my other website, if it did the internal link, the internal links, I didn't choose internal links option on this particular article. Now there is something right over here going on this table right here. We do have to fix the table or delete this table. We have HubSpot over here. I didn't tell it to do a table right there, but it does look like it. Okay. This is fine. Yeah. It has a pros list right here. And then there's only one con. Okay. So that does make sense. Difficulties reported and created and dependent. I mean, of, of course you, you want more pros than cons right here. You don't want five, you know, you don't want a list of six pros and then six cons. Usually there's only one or two cons. So that makes total sense. We can actually leave that. It just keeps going and going and going and going. And this is just a, killer giant piece of content right here. We have the pros and cons of click up right here and boom, we have all the bolded. I mean, this would just take you an entire week to write this article. If you were actually writing this article from hand from freehand and read your own traditional research, we have our end of article. We have the factual data right here. General facts, of course, with agility, super cool. We can come back over here. It's going to give us all kinds of research, which is super cool. I, I mean, it's this part's going to all get deleted and not used. I'm going to come back down here all the way to the bottom. It just gives you all the information that we use. I was trying to see where the meta description, usually it includes a meta description in here, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm going to click to copy article, click to copy all. So if you only want to copy the article, but if you want to copy, copy all of that, then you can, you can check mark that box or click that button. I'm going to go with click to copy the entire article. And I'm going to close that as well. So super, super cool. Let's go over to Neuron Writer. I've already preloaded this, which is good. And one thing just kind of, I always take the content comp competition with a grain of salt in Neuron Writer. It always gives zeros. It never gives it more than 10, even more than five. It just says all keywords are easy. And I don't really agree with that. So I wouldn't really use Neuron for a keyword research tool. By the, I mean, by this time, I think I can confidently say that. But we're going to come in here. And we're going to just leave all those. And is there any outliers? Nope. So we're going to go next. We'll open this bad boy up and we'll paste that article in. And we have our conclusion down there and all these tables just look amazing. External links. And we have a 50 right out of the gates, which is super high because we need to put in our title over here, which is under the meta section. We'll put the title in, boom. And that's gonna skyrocket this up as well to 69. And then we need our meta description. And like I said, usually I thought that this agility provided a meta, but I'm not seeing that. I'm gonna go with a find meta. I'm not seeing a meta description for whatever reason, but that's not a problem at all. What we'll do is just come over to chat GPT, give me a meta four and we'll paste that in and it will give us a meta description it usually it provides when you do it that vague and you don't specify the characters it's going to give us a really long meta description we're going to definitely need to make less than 200 characters oops not 20 characters 200 characters so it's going to take that and it's going to make it into just 200 characters that is fine so let's go ahead and copy this real quick and we'll go back into Neuron Writer and throw that in. It didn't use any others, so we're gonna come over here and just add some more. Okay, perfect. Now, just did that all custom right there, and you can see we're using all these in green right here. 
Go back over to content right over here. So we have the meta description, the title. I don't think that's kind of interesting. We put the meta description in here and it didn't seem to move the needle right there, but that's okay. So we have a 69 score right out of the gates. We didn't do anything in here to the content, right? And we have all these external links, super cool stuff. And we have our optimized title and meta description. So that's a really good score right out of the gate for that giant listicle post. There's some cool things that we can do over here. We can go over to the AI writing section. We don't have an FAQ on this particular one. So we can use paragraph given terms, relevant terms. So we can do, I'm gonna try a paragraph right over here. So we're gonna go like that and we're gonna say, oops, a paragraph. Nope, we're gonna go back and we are gonna use the FAQ section tool and just push that. We have external and we have the basic terms and we're going to say write for me. All right, so we're writing the FAQs real quick with relevant terms where you should be able to get our score even higher. And we just got our score from a 69 to a 75 right here by adding in the FAQs and perfect. So we've added in a bunch of different terms. So we'll come back up to the top and we've got our 75 score right over here. I wanna come back in here to the analysis and with a 75, we should be the best score on the entire page over here. So we should have a good chance at ranking this. So I'm gonna go ahead and post this and you know, if this actually ranks in the top 10, then I will bring another update video to you. So I appreciate you guys tuning into this video. Super, super cool feature that Agility Writer has built in to get these highly optimized articles right out of the gate. So if you guys wanna go and check out Agility, there will be a link below. I'll see you in the next video.